Hey, Will, before the game, Malone said that you were going to be under the same minutes restriction, but you might play far beyond that minutes restriction. Um, what were the conversations like the last two days between you and Malone, you and the medical staff, uh, leading into tonight where you played 28 minutes? Um, just trying to get them to uh, let me play even more, um, telling them to just trust me. Uh, you know, if I if I don't feel good, if I'm not moving right, if I'm not playing the way you, you guys need me to play, then take me out. But um, I knew tonight would be a big game, and I just wanted to uh, go out there and give them all and, and try to help us get a win. Katie Wingy, Altitude Sports. Hey, Will, you obviously provided a, a big spark off the bench tonight, but the, the starting group has been outscored by 20 plus points so far in this series and every game. When you're watching them, what do you think they can do to be more productive offensively or to get their fire going a little bit on that side of the ball? Um, I don't want to say them. Uh, we, we're all one team. Um, I don't want to separate us and say uh, them. I'll just say that we need to come out uh, more aggressive. Um, and just just try to put more pressure on their defense um, and, and set the tone early. Jacob Toby, Nine News Denver. Yeah, well, I mean, how, how do you how you how are you feeling right now after the after the twenty eight minutes? And would would you bring up you know could, could you potentially start? Would that be something that you would talk to coach about, or do you not know? Um. I'm just pissed right now. I don't even know. Uh, besides the fact that we lost, um, feel pretty decent. Other than that, um, you know, I talked to coach about that. He knows I want to start and try to help us get off uh, to a better start and just set the tone out there with my energy and things like that. But uh, I trust coach. I trust the game plan and uh, whatever he wants me to do. I want to try to go out there and do my best ability. Brandon Cristal, KOA Denver. Yeah, well, uh, well, can you tell us about Joker's effort? 32 points, 20 boards, and 10 assists. It's only the third time that's ever happened in the playoffs, 30, 20, and 10. Uh, he did what he needed to do. Um, we just didn't help him enough. Um, he went out there, and he, and, he, and he was the player that he's been all year. Um, we just didn't provide enough help for him. <laughs> Katie Wingy, Altitude Sports. Well, staying on the topic of Joker, what was it like for you being a bystander of that trophy being given to him and hearing all the fans and seeing him get the recognition that he deserves for the season that he's had? Um, it was surreal, man. I'm uh, very happy for him. Uh, it, it, it's not a player that I think deserves it more, and not just because of his play, but just because of his personality. Uh, I know in the back of his mind, he could really care less about it because um, all he cares about is winning games. But um, it couldn't happen to a more selfless person. And to be a part of that uh, with him and be a part of his journey is special. Mike Singer, Denver Post. Hey, Will, um, being with this team for six years and knowing what you know about them, um, how do you feel like you guys will respond down 3-0 on Sunday? Um, come out there and leave it all on the court. Um, Right now, it's just one game at a time. Uh, can't look past that. Um, game four is the most important game of our season. And um, I know we'll come out there and leave it all on the line. Leonardo Torres, El Comercio, Peru. Hi, Will. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Hope you're well. Will, why has it been so difficult to be consistent on offense and defense against the Suns on the whole series? Um, I don't know. Um, they're just taking the tours right now. Um, they're just doing what's, ne what's needs to be done and we're not. Harrison Wynn, DNVR. Uh, hey, Will, Nicola goes for 32, 20, and 10, and, and he said that he kind of walked into the locker room and said, like, my bad, I needed to do better. What was just kind of your response to that, a guy who has the game that he did and still wants to take the blame? Um, when you lose, uh, 
no matter how good you played, uh, you feel like you didn't do enough. And um, you respect that from a guy who um, went out there and, 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 and put those tight numbers up, but he still felt like it wasn't enough because we lost. So I understand where he's coming from. Um, that's it. I don't know. All right, that'll do it tonight. Thank you, Will. All right.